Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and this is Crisp Digitals. If this is your first time joining me, I want to welcome you to my channel. If this is your second time or your third time joining me, I want to also say welcome and thank you for being a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video. Okay, so today I will be talking to you guys about how to download and import the Bible app into your OneNote. Okay, so you guys have seen me um, use my OneNote um, also as a Bible whereby I can go from a particular uh, daily note into a Bible and I've shown you guys I have videos on that. But for example, I want to just show you guys one that I did. So let's say we went to yesterday and I come here, there is a place where it says Bible reading. So I can click here and it will open this area for me where I have the Old Testament and the New Testament. If I want to read the Old Testament, I can click on that and I can go to Exodus and that's it. So that's the Bible right there. I can go to, go to another book also and they are all here. I can also go to the New Testament, right? And it's going to do the same thing as well. Okay. So right here, you can go to Matthew chapter one and that's it right there. Chapter eight. And that's it right there. Okay. Um, I'm doing this video because a lot of people have been asking me um, through my email how they can get this Bible app. So I decided to make a video on it. All right. And this video shouldn't take that long. And I'm not going to go through the route of you going to the website to download it because someone did ask me that and said the website is not working actually the website is working but for the sake of um not giving people too much stress going through the website and downloading it and installing different um modules from that website um i'm just gonna give you guys the one i already did inside my notebook so i'm going to show you guys how to install the one i have the one i've already made of on my one note i'm going to show you how you can put it on your one note as well okay so without any further delay let's get started all right so as you guys can see that this is my let me use today's date and this is my um today's um daily notes i've shown you guys this already if you haven't seen the video you can go to the link in the description and you can watch the video about my daily notes and this daily note has everything i plan to do for the day and i can move stuff you know back and forth um like i showed you guys last time okay and also this particular daily note doesn't have the link to the bible reading i did this on purpose i removed this link so i can show you guys how i can do this from downloading it to importing it and to linking it all right let's do it okay so the first thing you want to do the link will be in the description where you can download the um bible um app it's already on my one note so i put it in a folder a zip file where you guys can download it okay all right let's go to that so when you click the link in the description, it should take you to this place. Okay, so this is where that link is going to take you to. So you guys see Bible. All right, so here I'm going to check it. All right, and I'm going to download it. See where it says download up here. Okay, I'm going to download it. So it's going to start downloading. All right, after it's, it's done downloading, let's open that folder. You guys can see the folder where it says, uh, let me bring it here, where it says Bible.zip. All right, so you want to extract it. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to extract all. Okay, some of you might have 7-zip, so that's what you're going to use to extract. Uh, just click on that and I'm going to say extract. Okay. All right, when you're done extracting, you're going to see, so you're going to see it right here. So that has been extracted. All right. So the next thing you want to do, because you can see it here, right? It says Bible. So this is the folder that you will need for the next step. 
not the zip file but you're going to need the folder okay all right so next step we're going to go to another link i put in the description and this link is going to take you to the export and import OneNote notebook all right so that is an um microsoft website so i'm going to go there so when you click on that link it's going to take you here all right we don't want to worry about the exports this this is meant for someone like me who is exporting my my one note notebook to you guys so this is for people who usually will sell their one note or who are sharing it but for you you're going to go to import a one note notebook this is where you want to be i want to go to the second okay second one number two i want to go to one note notebook importer so you click on that you're going to come to this screen where it says import so i'm going to click on that or you're going to click on that as well and it's going to open uh like a window so now you want to go to download place the the place you downloaded your your bible the folder where your bible is so for me it is right here okay okay so you're going to click once on this they're going to click upload okay yours might tell you what it's telling me here i'll just have to agree okay, i'm going to say upload all right i'm going to click on that but for me i am not going to click on that because i already have the bible app on my one note for you you're going to agree you're going to click on that okay again for me i do not need to have two of this on my one note i already have one running it's the same thing i already have anyway so there's no need to have it so for you that's what you're going to do you're going to click on on that okay then that's going to start uploading all right so i'm just going to cancel here all right all right so when you're done and everything is completed okay you should have the you should have the bible app on your one note okay so the next thing you're going to do is you can go and look for it by going into either your file and you can go and look if you see mine is here already so yours should be around here okay and um let's go back you can also come down here and if it's not here they can click on more but mine is here okay you can click on more notebooks when you click on that you have more notebooks here i can look for your bible so mine is still here okay so that's how you get it so now how do you link this with your daily notes okay so you can do what i do or you can just don't have to link it depending on how your system is set up for your daily note so for me i'm just going to highlight this you can highlight the bible reading too if you want you can highlight anything you want to any icon you want to highlight you can do that for me i'm just going to highlight this book icon and i'm going to right click and go to link okay and over here i'm just going to scroll down until i see bible so right here i see the bible I'm just going to come here where it says the bible and i'm going to click once and i'm going to click ok so now it has been linked so if i click on this it takes me to that okay so right there it's my bible okay all right guys that's how simple it is to do it if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so thank you for watching and i hope you're having a great day if you if you have any question or you're stuck somewhere please reach out to me and i'll help you to figure it out till i see you guys next time have a blessed day bye bye